Hey everyone, today I'll be making a different video. This is probably not my usual type. I'm usually on my computer programming, but today I'm gonna make a video about upgrading a laptop. So I've got a couple things that I wanna update on this laptop. I've got this old Chromebook, which I put Linux on, and I'm, I just wanna put a new SSD. So I've got this Kingston SSD, which is 240 gigabytes and also upgrade the RAM, put more RAM in it. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm upgrading a Chromebook with Linux on it, and I probably couldn't tell you why because I, I just have these parts laying around and they're, they're better in this laptop than in my drawer. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this laptop, maybe clean it a little bit, and put these new components in. So just to show you what I'm working with here, here's the Kingston drive. It's one of the less expensive ones that I'm using, but for this laptop, I figured it was worth it. So that's one component. And here's the RAM that I'm using. This I believe is four gigabytes and the laptop came with two gigabytes. So that'll make it six gigabytes. This upgrade is probably does not make a lot of sense because the laptop is not that powerful, but so the CPU will be a bottleneck. Okay, so usually, when I open any kind of device, I, I need this kind of tool set. But for this one, we don't really need it. I just wanted to show you what I usually use. This one's, uh, again, from Amazon. I bought it. I'll leave some links down below some for some go good tool sets that I use. But for this particular laptop, all we need is a Phillips screwdriver. So first, before we touch anything, we should always remove the battery. Uh, of course, if your laptop allows to remove the battery, most of them do not right now. Um, a lot of the laptops now are not modular, so you cannot remove the RAM or you can't really um, upgrade the RAM or remove the hard drive in some cases. But for this one, it's an older one, so it, it, this is all possible. So here's one Phillips screw that we will take out. And then this laptop is sort of a sliding mechanism, so you just push down and slide up a little bit. And at the top here, it just take, comes off. So and after that, we just have the internals of the laptop. So I'm gonna clean this, just take some of the dust out and then we'll see what we need to do. So I just wanted to mention that this upgrade doesn't maybe not doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, six gigabytes in this laptop with, with an SSD, well, the SSD maybe makes a, quite a bit of difference, but six gigabytes in this laptop will probably be bottlenecked by the uh, CPU here. So the CPU is quite small and and it probably will not perform as good as the, the RAM would. Um, so here we have the two gigabytes of RAM. Here's an empty slot, which I'll be filling. Here's the hard drive, and we'll be replacing that with our solid state drive. So to remove the hard drive, um, there's this little lip here, which we'll use. We'll put our finger right in there and just pop it out. And you really wanna make sure of the ribbon cables. So most laptops will be full of ribbon cables and you don't wanna snap any of those. So this one can be folded out a little bit so I can get to this Phillips head screw. And we'll put that to the side. And then for this one, it is a little tricky. I won't be able to show you, but just another Phillips head here. And whenever you take out hard drives, you have to remember that the operating system is on it. So you'll have to do some kind of installing of operating systems. Um, for, for this one, I'm going to install Linux on it. And you just need to pull this out here. Okay, so here's the hard drive that it comes with. 320 gigabytes, 2.5 millimeter. And we also have a 2.5 millimeter, so it should fit pretty nicely. Um, it also has the same exact kind of connector up here. So this one is the uh, power and this is the data connector. So we just put, replace it exactly the way the hard drive was. Okay, and we just have to replace the screws back. So in most cases, you may not need to remove this ribbon cable here, but if you do need to, uh, you have to find the one that is removable. Most of these will, one side will be removable and the other side may not be. So in this case, the, the top side here is removable and these black tabs here 
you can remove it you can pull the black tabs out and the ribbon just comes out like that but for for most of these upgrades you don't really need to do anything like that so that fits pretty snugly right there so now all we have to do is put in the ram and that is very simple there are two notches here if you see this side is shorter and shorter than this side so we have to match that up kind of like lego you can't really put it in the wrong way you only you can only put it in this way all right and then so it goes in like that and then there's two pins here on the sides which if you press down they will catch on to the ram so you heard two clicks right there from these two pins and that's pretty much it for the hardware upgrades now all you have to do is test out uh, again you'll have to install something on this hard drive like a operating system like Linux or Chrome OS if you're still using Chrome OS so let's put this back together and putting it back together is the same way just slide it back in get your Phillips head and you really want to make sure you don't mess up this Phillips head because removing the back later will be pretty hard if with the stripped screw and we can put the battery back okay so that was it for upgrading this laptop I'm just going to probably install Linux on it now on the hard drive uh, all we have left now is this slow 320 gigabyte hard drive which I'll just put in a enclosure and use it as an external drive uh, that's really all it's good for and if you have any questions or if you'd like to see the Linux installation please comment down below and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and we'll see you in the next one